Here before you now is a retainer in the service of Emperor Shujahu, the malevolent spirit possessing the minister of the left's daughter, Lady Aoi, has recently proven to be excessively strong. So we have summoned venerable priests of great virtue to perform various secret rites and medical cures, but there have been no signs of improvement. I shall invite someone here called Terahi, the, sh the shamaness, a well-known and highly skilled Catalpa bow diviner, and have her determine by plucking the string of a Catalpa bow whether it is the spirit of someone living or dead. Is someone there? Summon forth Terahi, the shamaness. Heaven be pure, earth be pure, inside and outside be pure, six sense organs be pure. One possessed now along the shore approaches on a dappled gray horse, loosely shaking the reins. <laughs> Riding on three carriages on the path of the law. Might one pass through the gate of the burning house? At the ruin of Yoga's dwelling, a dilapidated carriage. How sad that there is no way to drive it out. This wretched floating world, like an ox-drawn carriage. This wretched floating world, like an ox-drawn carriage. It is not the always returning wheel of karmic retribution. Reincarnation forever rolls on like the wheels of a carriage. Unable to pass through the six realms and four modes of birth, the impermanence of human beings is like the banana plant or foam on water. It is the way of the world that yesterday's flowers are today dream today's dreams. How foolish it is not to wake up. I, laboring resentment towards others, simply increases the misery of my floating life. My troubled thoughts, which I can never forget, if only I could pacify them for a while. A vengeful spirit, summoned forth by the Catalpa bow, is revealed here now. How shameful even now my appearance in a secret carriage. Though I gaze at the moon until daybreak, Though I gaze at the moon until daybreak, I will not appear in the moon's light, a mayfly flickering in the dark at the upper notch of the Catalpa bowl. I rise and approach so that I might tell the story of my aimless misery. I rise and approach so that I might tell the misery, the story of my aimless misery. Whence comes the sound of the catap Catalpa bowl? Whence comes the sound of the Catalpa bowl? Though at the door of the main room, of the eastern cottage, since I am without form, no one questions me. How uncanny! Who is it I know not? An upper-ranking lady riding in a dilapidated carriage, while someone, a young maidservant, I think, clutches the shafts of an oxless carriage, crying bitterly. How painful it all is! I wonder, is this the one? I can probably guess who it is. Tell us your name without concealment. In this contingent realm of delusion, as evanescent as a flash of lightning, there is one I should resent, nor should my existence be filled with sorrow. When I wonder, did my spirit begin to go adrift? By the sound of the Catalpa bow, I am drawn, appearing before you, here and now. Do you know who I am? Here before you is the vengeful spirit of Rokujo no Miyasako Doroko. In bygone times, when I was still acquainted with the world of imperial flowering. <laughs> flower viewing banquets above the clouds and spring morning music concerts on autumn nights filled with crimson leaves at the immortal's cave, taking delight in the moon imbued with seasonal colors and scents, though once flourishing like a flower, I have withered away. A morning glory awaiting the sun's rays, I know not, I know not my bitter heart, like ferns shooting in a field of difficulties, started sprouting forth, 
so that I might dispel such thoughts of dew ablaze with resentment. I have appeared before you here and now. Do you not know what in this world compassion is not for the sake of others? When you are cruel towards others, when you are cruel towards others, it will inevitably return to you. Why do I grieve? Turning over the arrowroot leaf, I see that my resentment will never be exhausted. My resentment will never be exhausted. Oh, how detestable! Even now I cannot refrain from striking her. How shameful for one in Lady Rokujo's position to engage in the practice of secondary wife-beating. How can such conduct be tolerated? Stop such thought at once! Well, no matter what you say, I am unable to resist striking her now. Rising, she approaches her pillow, and just as she strikes... More than this I cannot allow. She approaches, saying, I will inflict pain upon you at the foot of her bed. Today's bitterness is a vengeful return of the past. The flames of wrath envelop me. Do you not realize this? You must realize. How hateful is your heart. Oh, how hateful is your heart. My resentment is deep-seated. Even if I make you wail in misery, while you are still alive in this world, you shall remain tied in bonds of marriage to one more radiant than the image of fireflies flashing over a dark marsh. Beneath the wormwood, I will not be the one I was before, to disappear like dew on a leaf tip. How bitter it all is. Even in dreams, our vows will not return, having become a tale of bygone days. And yet, my attachment grows all the more. In the clear mirror, how shameful is the visage. Standing by her pillow, into my dilapidated carriage, I shall conceal her and ride away. I shall conceal her and ride away. Is anyone there? I humbly appear here before you. Since the malevolent spirit possessing Lady Aoi has proven to be excessively strong, Please, summon the holy man of Yokawa. Very well, sir. This is exceedingly unexpected. It was my understanding that Lady Oyoi was already on the way to recovery from spirit possession. But since the malevolent spirit is still out of control, I have been instructed to summon the holy man of Yakawa. I plan to go now. Greetings, please show me into the house so that I may deliver a message. Before the window of the nine forms of consciousness, around the seat of the ten vehicles, I am filled with the holy waters of yoga, which clarify the moon of the three secret practices. Who is it that greets me, wishing to be admitted? I have come with a message. The malevolent spirit possessing Lady Oyoi is so excessively strong that I have been instructed by the minister to give you a message, kindly requesting that you appear with great haste so that she may, she may receive the, the powers of your prayers. At this time, I am engaged in special rites and cannot go anywhere. But since it is a message from the minister, I will go immediately. We are greatly indebted to your kindness. Please go in this direction. The holy man has arrived. Please enter. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> I am too much obliged to, to you for coming right away. I received your message. Where is the person who is suffering from illness? Well then, I shall perform special prayers immediately. Kindly do so. The ascetic priest comes to perform special prayers. He follows in the steps of Enno Gyoja, scaling the peaks of the womb in diamond realms. 
In a hempen cloak, he brushes off the dew of seven jewels. A robe of four barons shields him from defilement. The redwood beads of the rosary rustle as I rub them and recite a single prayer. Namaku Samanda Basarada. Return at once, ascetic. Return, or you will be vanquished through your recklessness. However formidable the evil spirit may be, it is, is it possible for the aesthetic's dharmic powers to be exhausted, rubbing together the beads of the rosary yet again? In the east, Gozanze Myo. In the east, Gozanze Myo. In the south, Gundarashi. In the west, Datako Myo. In the north, Kongo Yasha Myo. In the center, the most wise, Fudo Myo. Namaku Satanda Basarada, Senda Makarashana, Sawatawu Untarata Kanama. Whoever hears my teaching acquires great wisdom. Whoever knows my mind attains Buddhahood in this very body. Oh, how terrifying is the voice of perfect wisdom. From the po this point forward and from a vengeful spirit, never will I come back again. When she hears the sound of sutra chanting, when she hears the sound of sutra chanting, it pacifies the heart of the evil demon in the form of forbearance and merciful compassion. What hits of us descend to this place to welcome her, attaining Buddhahood, released from all worldly attachments. She becomes filled with gratitude. She becomes filled with gratitude. 